The president of Ukraine arrived in the United States on December 21st to meet with his American counterpart Joe Biden. This is the first foreign trip of Volodymyr Zelensky since the start of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. The meeting had been planned for several months in a row, but was postponed due to the escalated situation on the front line. The details of the visit were carefully concealed because of a possible assassination attempt on Volodymyr Zelensky. The presidential plane in the USA was met by Ukrainian ambassador to the United States Oksana Markarov. Defense attaché of Ukraine to the USA, Boris Kremenetsky, and high-ranking White House officials. Immediately after his arrival, Volodymyr Zelensky went to the White House. There he met with his American colleague Joe Biden. The two leaders talked for about two hours. At the end of the meeting, the presidents went to a final press conference. President Biden President Biden announced a new 1 billion 800 million US dollars military aid package for Ukraine. The strongest element of this package is the Patriot missile system, something that will strengthen our air defense significantly. This is an important step in creating an air shield for Ukraine. This is the only way we will deprive Russia of its main tool of terror, the ability to attack our cities and our energy sector. 300 days since Putin launched an unprovoked, unjustified all-out assault on the free people of Ukraine. 300 days of Ukrainian people showing Russia and the world their steel backbone, their love of country, and their unbreakable determination. Ukraine's critical infrastructure, destroying the systems to provide heat and light to the Ukrainian people during the coldest, darkest part of the year. Russia is using winter as a weapon, freezing people, starving people, cutting them off from one another. The American people have been with you every step of the way, and we will stay with you. We will stay with you for as long as it takes. Thank you for being here, Mr. President. We're going to stand with you. Volodymyr Zelensky thanked Joe Biden for his support and presented him with a medal at the request of the HIMARS battery commander it was awarded to. He also expressed his hope that both chambers will continue to support Ukraine despite changes in Congress, when after the recent midterm elections in the Senate, the Republicans gained the advantage. The president of Ukraine also met with the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Nancy Pelosi, and addressed the U.S. Congress, as well as at the Ukrainian Embassy in the United States. Reported by Pavel Stelmach, Natalia Kirichenko, UET. TV News.